Dawn at Puri, a poem by the renowned Indian poet Jayanta Mahapatra, presents a vivid and melancholic portrayal of a morning scene on the sea beach of Puri, a famous and holy town in Orissa, India. The poem evokes a somber atmosphere with a series of striking images and metaphors, engaging readers in a contemplative reflection on the themes of life, death, faith, and the harsh realities faced by the people of India. Puri, as the setting of the poem, holds great religious and cultural significance in India. This sacred town, known as a pilgrimage site, serves as a powerful backdrop for the exploration of the poem's themes, reinforcing the importance of faith, ritual, and the human quest for solace in the face of adversity. The poem opens with the disconcerting auditory imagery of incessant crow noises and a striking visual image of a skull lying on the holy sands, symbolizing the extreme poverty and destitution experienced by the people of Orissa. This stark juxtaposition of the sacred and the macabre effectively captures the harshness of life in this region. The mention of the skull tilting its empty country toward hunger further emphasizes the prevalent suffering and penury. The poem then shifts focus to a group of elderly widowed women clad in white, waiting to enter the great temple. These women, past the prime of their lives, have austere and solemn expressions in their eyes reflecting their faith and hope born of their religious beliefs. The eyes of these women are likened to those caught in a net, emphasizing the feelings of despair and helplessness they experience. The metaphor of the net encapsulates the feelings of entrapment and helplessness experienced by the widowed women. They are caught in the web of their societal and religious expectations, unable to break free from the constraints imposed upon them. Yet their shining strands of faith suggest that they still cling to their beliefs as a source of solace and strength. Towards the end, the poem presents a poignant personal connection to the scene as the speaker's aging mother's last wish is revealed, to be cremated on the holy sands of Puri. The image of the sullen, solitary pyre serves as a reminder of mortality and the inescapable reality of death. It also reiterates the importance of faith and ritual in the lives of the people in this region, as they find comfort in the idea of being laid to rest in such a sacred place. The language employed in Dawn at Puri is deceptively simple, yet it masterfully paints a vivid picture of the morning scene while delving into the deeper themes of life, death, and faith. Additionally, the poem's lack of a fixed rhyme scheme and its use of free verse allows for greater flexibility and freedom in the expression of the poet's thoughts and emotions. This unstructured form underscores the unpredictable and ever-changing nature of the subjects the poem addresses. Employing an imagist style, the poem presents clear and precise images that engage the senses, immersing readers in the vividly depicted world and engaging them on a visceral level, allowing them to experience the scene firsthand. Moreover, the poem's use of enjambment contributes to a sense of fluidity and continuity, reflecting the ongoing struggles and hardships faced by the people of Puri. The lines flow seamlessly into one another, mirroring the unending nature of their plight. The poem's melancholic and somber tone is a result of the stark images and underlying themes, which convey the harsh realities of life and the transient nature of human existence. Yet, amidst this bleakness, there is a glimmer of hope in the form of the women's unwavering faith, offering a subtle counterbalance to the otherwise despondent atmosphere. In conclusion, Dawn at Puri, is a powerful and evocative poem that masterfully captures the essence of a morning scene in the sacred town of Puri. The vivid images, rich metaphors, and thought-provoking themes invite readers to reflect on the complexities of life, death, and faith, making it a poignant and memorable piece of literature.